day of 2022's Farnborough International Air Show was nothing short of inspirational. Today was all about the future workforce and the pioneers of tomorrow came to experience all the industry have to offer. Now, shall we fast forward into the future for a couple more minutes? Farnborough Air Show has not just been about the workforce of tomorrow, it's also about the workhorses of tomorrow. Advanced air mobility, fast, sustainable, rapid transport systems that we're going to see coming quite soon. And they've all been on display at the show this week. This is Whisk's Cora, a two-seat test variant of the four-seat electrical vertical takeoff and landing air taxi. The production conforming eVTOL will be unveiled later this year. A typical flight will see the Whisk aircraft rise vertically to 40 feet before transitioning to forward flight. The aircraft on display here has already flown about 400 times as part of the test program. Another advanced aircraft, Vertical Aerospace's VX4, is set for its first flight this summer, having begun ground tests. Service entry for the four-seat air taxi is set for 2025. Meanwhile, Eviation is heading towards a first flight for its all-electric aircraft, Alice, next month. The plan is to eventually carry nine passengers, a maximum of 400 nautical miles. It's got a theoretical top speed of 250 knots. The future of flight is very exciting, but how do we get the next generation involved? Well, here at Farnborough today, we've got some great role models. I, when I was 19 years old, I became the youngest woman to fly a sailor around the world, in this plane, actually. And not just on the ground, today attendees were able to talk to a real-life female astronaut live from the International Space Station. Just yesterday I had the opportunity of doing my very first spacewalk and yeah, it was a very intense and uh, amazing experience. If employers are going to engage a new generation to push the frontiers of flight, they must embrace a diverse workforce to attract the best talent. Our amazing wing factory in Broughton uh, this year only had 9.1% of uh, girls as apprentices. Um, but the great thing is that we've got an ambition to up that to 30% uh, by uh, 2023 and that all our work experience this year has been 50-50 gender balance. Ingenuity, an engineering industry charity, has taken a novel approach to inspire future engineers by bringing gaming skills into play. So we've built games in Minecraft, so that's the most popular video game in the world. Um, we've created Skills Miner, so we've got four games built around aerospace themes, really looking at the skills of the future that we need, like coding, making their own sustainable aviation fuels, and then building their own aircraft at the end as well. Pioneers of tomorrow wowed the crowds today with an extended aerial display featuring aerobatic teams, parachute displays and even wing walkers. How would you describe today in one word? Exciting. Amazing. Fabulous. Cool. After four years away, it has been wonderful to see the world's aerospace and defence industries back here at Farnborough. Gareth Rogers, CEO of Farnborough International, sums up the week. What a show. Uh, unbelievable, you know, the, the amount of exhibitors we've had, we're expecting over 80,000 when we come to the final tally. You know, incredible weather at the start of the week, although well, it's cooled down a little bit towards the end of it, but it's been a fantastic show. The, the feedback has been great and everybody's had a great time. We're really, really excited. The feedback from our clients has been fantastic. People are already talking about what type of space they want to take uh, and how they'd like to represent themselves at the next show. Well, what else is there to say? It's been a crazy roller coaster week where the industry got to reconnect and reunite after a very long break away. And during the week where the UK recorded its highest ever temperatures, I think we can say with some confidence that the Farnborough International Air Show came blazing back. Signed, sealed, and delivered. <laughs>